Hi there, you've reached S.J. Thomason with Christian-Apologist.com. I came across this debate today from Matt Dillahunty and Braxton Hunter. Matt Dillahunty is an atheist and Braxton Hunter is a Christian, and it was on Trinity Radio. The debate was entitled, Does the Christian God Exist? And before I talk about what I'm going to talk about today, I wanted to note that this is an excellent debate. It took a little over two hours, but it's well worth your time. Braxton Hunter really knocked it out of the park in this one. I probably would have to say he's among the best debaters I've seen go up against Matt Dillahunty, who's a rather formidable opponent. So at one point in the debate, Matt Dillahunty brought up the power of prayer, and I'm going to focus on that today. So first we'll hear what he had to say, and then I'm going to speak to the particular study he references. Now, this notion that he brings up about recalibrated plausibility, yes, I completely agree. And the way you recalibrate plausibility is to investigate and examine and come up with more data. And that can't happen for a single occurrence. It can't happen for historical events that we can compare to other ones. How, thou shalt not put the Lord thy God to the test. Well, that already is going to prevent us from doing testing the, the Christian God appropriately. But when we try to test for this, when, for example, the Templeton Foundation does a, uh, an investigation of intercessory prayer, what we find is that prayer doesn't work. It works at the rate of chance. And as a matter of fact, if you know you're being prayed for, those people did worse. We, the, the, the contention is that perhaps they had performance anxiety, that if they knew people were prayed on them and they praying for them and they didn't get better, this would somehow mock God. So they actually got worse because of the stress is, is one thing. Religious skeptics like Matt Dillahunty often point to the results from the Templeton Prayer Study, which is the largest study of intercessory prayer to be conducted to date, to claim prayer doesn't work, and in fact, it makes it even worse. I have summarized the study methodology and results before offering the limitations that should be considered before making such assertions. The authors of the Templeton Study collected 1,802 responses from patients in six hospitals in the United States and randomly assigned them to one of three groups. 604 were told they may or may not receive prayers and they received intercessory prayers. 597 were told they may or may not receive prayers and they did not receive prayers. And 601 received prayers after being told they would receive prayers. Christians prayed for 14 days from afar. Starting the night before patients were going to coronary artery bypass surgery. They were asked to give a very specific prayer, quote, for a successful surgery with a quick, healthy recovery and no complications, end quote, to a person they had never met who was identified only by a first name and last initial. They were not given pictures or any other identifying information about the patients. In the two groups uncertain about receiving intercessory prayer, complications occurred in 52% of patients who received intercessory prayer versus 51% of those who did not. Complications occurred in 59% of patients certain of receiving intercessory prayer compared with 52% of those uncertain of receiving intercessory prayer. Major events and 30-day mortality were similar across the three groups. Several major limitations should be acknowledged. Firstly, the prayers were given to strangers from a distance to whom the people's prayers had no emotional or personal attachment. One could assert such prayers would not have the power as those people give their loved ones undergoing surgery. Although the intercessors were motivated to participate in the trial, they received limited information without feedback on the patient's condition, did not know or have any communication with patients or their families, used a standard study intention during their prayers, and prayed for patients in groups one and three for study-specific 14 days, which is the anticipated maximum duration of inpatient stay for at least 95% of subjects. Before the start of the study, intercessors reported that they usually receive information about the patient's age, sex, and progress supports on their medical condition, converse with family members or the patient, not by fax from a third party, use individualized prayers of their own choosing, and pray for a variable period based on patient or family request. Our rationale for altering the way in which intercessory prayer is routinely provided was to enable us to standardize the initiation and duration of intercessory prayer to assess compliance with provision of study prayer and to direct the intercessors away from praying for everyone in the trial by focusing on praying for those assigned to studies groups one and three. 
end quote. A second limitation is that people praying were told to use a specific canned phrase with which they may or may not have been comfortably. Thirdly, patients had varying opinions on the efficacy of prayer, which may have impacted results. Similar proportions in group one, 68%, group two, 63%, and group three, 64%, strongly agreed with the statement, I believe in spiritual healing. A fourth limitation Christians may note relates to the specific religious sects chosen for the study. Though we were not given any other information about the beliefs of those praying for the patients, we were given the names of their sects. We also were not given any demographic information or the quantity of people in these groups. One was a Catholic group called St. Paul's Monastery in St. Paul, Minnesota. A second one was a universalist group called Silent Unity in Lee Summit, Missouri. And the third was another Catholic group, the Community of Theresian Carmelites in Worcester, Massachusetts. Silent Unity is a sect of new thought which focuses on spirituality, transcendentalism, and pantheism. They call themselves Christians, but do not affirm all of Jesus' teachings, such as, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father except through the Son. The organization's website states, Unity is a positive, practical, progressive approach to Christianity based on the teachings of Jesus and the power of prayer. Unity honors the universal truths in all religions and respects each individual's right to choose a spiritual path. They also, quote, offer inspiration and support to millions of people who consider themselves to be spiritual, but not religious. The website further states, we create our life experiences through our way of thinking. Our one way to align ourselves with spirit is through meditations. The final limitation is the most significant, and I'll quote, Almost all subjects believed that friends, relatives, and or members of their religious institutions would be praying for them. Group one, 95%, group two, 96.8%, and group three, 96%. In other words, the study's authors did not, nor could not control for the prayers from patients' loved ones for reasons of ethicality and practicality. The study authors further acknowledged this limitation, along with the limitation that the patients may have prayed for themselves. This limitation alone is enough to question the validity and reliability of the results. Quote, the finding that intercessory prayer, as provided in the study, had no effect on complication-free recovery from coronary artery disease may be due to the study limitations. Understanding why certainty of receiving intercessory prayer was associated with a higher incidence of complications will require additional study. Private or family prayer is widely to believe to influence recovery from illness. And the results of this study do not challenge this belief. Keep praying. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you'll like and subscribe and do come again. You can find me at christian-apologist.com. You can also find me on social media at Twitter at L-E-A-D, LEAD1225. And I hope that you'll refer this website to your friends. I'm trying to build up my subscriber space. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye.